I'm trying to win the Super Bowl, and we taking the game at a time. I'm not worried about MVP, you know. If it come, it come. I'll be satisfied, but I'm trying to win the Super Bowl. That's, that's a team award, and that's what I want. LJ, MVP, if you got a problem, come see me. Just run that back from last week. That's all I'm going to say. Man, people been trying me, but they can't validate their opinions. So, LJ for MVP. There's nothing like it. <laughs> you can't emulate it. How are you going to practice it? Lamar is the fastest guy on the field. And now you, you got it. Obviously, I'm a little frustrated. No, don't, don't take it. It's just uh, he's, he's an MVP for a reason. Yeah, he is. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into First Take. Thank you for hanging with us. Marcus Spears, What's Max up? Kellerman, Molly Cam Rose, very David dapper today. Smith. Thanks. Appreciate it. How we What's doing, fellas? I got distracted. I'm you guys, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, What's up, big boy? I'm Thank doing. Are you all right? I get oh, one yeah. too. How oh, do? Yeah. How do? Oh yeah. You know. Somebody, 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 somebody might play, pay you man, a visit a little bit. Man, man. This whole lot. Somebody just, might pay Molly, you a little visit. A little, 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 you heard what he I'm said. Good. You heard what he said this I'm morning good. about Stephen A. That's right. No, what'd you say? Hurt people, hurt people. I love that line. Yep. Is yeah. that Joel Osteen or Oprah? I don't know. I can't remember. Is, I use that one. Yeah. It's great. Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Among the you're terrible hurting inside. You're hurting inside. So you try to hurt others. All I'm going to say is this. With your Cowboys venom. That was a phenomenal, phenomenal line. By Marcus Spears this morning on Get Up. Here's the problem with yeah. it. You talk about throwing up a softball and biting. You understand? The, the, yeah. That statement is never so tailor made for anyone more than the Cowboys fan. You will live to regret that. How you know I'm not playing that. chess? No, no. You ain't playing chess against me. Okay. Right. You, just, you just lost the game all right. Listen, you guys you are trying to make it right. about you, but it's about action. I Jackson. Queen. They called him that for a reason, and boy, did he put on a show last two. night. I'm ignoring that comment. As the Ravens stomped the Rams 45 to 6, Jackson became the first player, Ooh. five past TDs in a Monday night football debut. Oh, and did I mention what he did on the ground? Mm. 95 yeah. rush yards, yeah. Max Kellerman. Yeah. Is Lamar the best quarterback in the NFL? Yes. He's the MVP this season, he's the best. But really, you're asking a larger question. Because I've sat here and said, Patrick Mahomes is in a class by himself. And now let's talk about everyone else. And I would have said Rodgers is after him. No. Patrick Mahomes, push comes to shove. I would still take him probably, maybe. Lamar Jackson is on that level. I said Patrick Mahomes has a chance to be Michael Jordan in the NFL. Lamar, it's just an issue of can he keep this up. But here's the scary thing about Lamar. He keeps getting better. Lamar Jackson and this Ravens team keeps getting better. He was, according to Warren Sharp, I talked, you know, Sharp, Sharp analytics. analytics. There you go. He was the number one most accurate passer at age 21. Accurate passer. Forget about his speed for a second. At age 21 in the history of the NFL. Now he's age 22. How you like him now? How about this? Also from Warren Sharp. Here are the four top defensive minds uh, in the NFL. Head coaches, Bill Belichick, Pete Carroll, Wade Phillips, Romeo Cornell. Gutted them. 13 touchdowns, no interceptions, 4-0 with a point differential. Over 100. I love Mahomes. That's a good point because Stephen A. likes resumes. I love Mahomes. Mahomes is 24. Lamar Jackson's 22 years old. Patrick Mahomes has company. First of all, emphasizing his age doesn't make him any younger. Number two, and more importantly, um, I'm really wondering whether was that sharp as it was sap sharp analytics. analytics. Sharp, sharp analytics. analytics. Yeah, I mean, they need to give you an endorsement deal. They really, really. It's don't. him. It's I'm one gonna, dude. He needs to pay one you. Man okay, as much as you it's mention my boy. him. I'm being fair. He needs to pay you. It's the best. In number the three. Number three. Yeah. I would have you remember. Um, first of all, I do not believe that Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in football. I believe he is a superstar in the making. I think he's electrifying and sensational, and I have come on board. He deserve, He is the leading candidate for league MVP honors right now. But you know how I am about the position. What is your job description? And for me, no matter how electrifying you are, because I felt the same way when Michael Vick was making noise in the NFL, running that football, you ain't a running back. You are electrifying. You might win games and all that stuff. But when we talk about a quarterback, in terms of you being the best quarterback in football, that answer is hell no, he is not. Lamar Jackson is completing 66% of his passes. I get it. 
You know he's thrown 24 touchdown passes this season. Do you know 10 of them have come against Miami? And last night with the Rams. The Rams are the 15th-ranked defense in the NFL. Four came last week against Houston, which is the 17th-ranked uh, uh, team uh, defense in football. And, of course, the Miami Dolphins are the Miami Dolphins. That is 14 of his 24 touchdowns against three highly suspect defenses, as far as I'm concerned. What do you want him to do against those defenses? What are you talking about? I'm saying, like, he's throwing touchdowns against other man. teams, too. Oh, let me finish hearing this. Exactly. I want to keep hearing this. Exactly. That's right. Don't interrupt. That's very rude. <laughs> the point that I'm trying to make to you is this. Here's the bottom line. All I'm saying is... When you look at him and his ability, he's sensational. He's young. He's getting better. He's ascended. Last time we saw him, he was in the playoffs against San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers. We know how that went. I'm not taking anything away from his greatness as an athlete. I'm not taking anything in terms of his greatness, um, his ability to run the football, and the presence that he has right now. It cannot be denied. But when it comes to the quarterback position, it's just my thing. It's, just, it's not a general thing, Marcus, because you play football, I'm going to defer to you. I'm just letting you know where I stand. When it comes to the quarterback position, I'm about how you can fling that football. That's me. And the reason why it really, really elevated in the mind's eye is because when my man Skip and I used to do this show and you had a whole bunch of people out there looking at Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow, I was saying the Denver Broncos had the number one rushing attack in football, just like the Ravens did now. Now, Tim Tebow on his best day could never run a football like this, brother. We understand that. But I was very big and fixated on the fact you don't get to run the football and be recognized as an elite quarterback because of your ability to run the football. I did it with Michael Vick. I did it with Tim Tebow. I'm doing the same thing with okay. Lamar Jackson. Here, That's all I'm saying. Here's the thing. Max, I'm sorry for cutting you off. Sure. No. You got to get out of the old guard. Okay. This is a new – this is different. We've never been – this landscape that Lamar Jackson is living in, mm -hmm. we've never been in it in the NFL. Okay. There is no comparison. People keep saying Michael Vick and all of that. When they tried to make Michael Vick a pocket passer, we saw Michael Vick go down in his production. Kaepernick, they, too. Absolutely. He's also much bigger than and, Michael Vick. Here's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. Like, when you look at Lamar Jackson yesterday, 15 for 20, 165, people say, oh, what – it's because he doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. Stephen A., I'm telling you right now, he's had three damn near perfect QBRs this season. We saw him gut the New England Patriots. The problem that people have with Lamar Jackson is we have this old ideology that he doesn't play quarterback in a conventional way. And, and I'm telling you, it's easy. Like, I don't fault anybody for feeling that way because everything football has taught us, 6'5", pocket passer, deliver the ball, distribute, not athletic, that's who wins Super Bowls. And there's a legit argument. I've sat on this show and said the same thing. But here's the thing about Lamar Jackson. Every once in a while, we get a MJ or we get a LeBron James, and then we got to rethink well, how we, how how we last, think about it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, here's my point to you. You have a point if I'm talking about this season. I've already conceded he's the leading candidate for league MVP honors because he's been that electrifying. The only reason I give you pushback is because my attitude is, what if you got yourself hurt running the football to mm -hmm. the point where your running ability is compromised? Then you have to stop. You have you kind of limit your mobility, and now you have to fling that football. What level of faith should I have in you in terms of your That's ability legit. to fling the football? That's so, legit. So, so for me, when the when the question is the best quarterback, right. you, That's where but, I come in right, and challenge so, all. So, that. in other words. Is he accurate? Can he make reads? Is he accurate? Right? And can he? does he have arm strength? Check, check, check. I just said most accurate passer in the history of football, age 21. Here he is, age 22. Same thing, age 22. Is it going to be the same thing, age 23? If it's by the time he's 28, then he's the most accurate passer of all time. Look, the hoodwink era is over. There was an era up until now where... Really, and we know what it is. Of course, it's racial. It was ra it's the like elephant in the room no one wants to talk about. That... Black guys can't play quarterback. Know why? Because a lot of them are fast, seem to be the idea. Mm -hmm. Wait, so an extra dimension to your game? It was so no good. It was like, I mean, he, no right, right, right. I mean, I went for white, white quarterbacks, too, I suppose. Oh, he's too, like, but Steve Young ran and other guys ran. That era is over. If you can do yeah, extra the top things, five best that's are good all for you. American quarterbacks. Right, the top five QBR, yeah. all African-American quarterbacks. And... 
I hear a lot now with Lamar Jackson because people want to fight against stereotype. He works really hard. See, we're not saying he's just physically talented. He works hard. Yeah, no kidding he works hard. You can't be that good without working hard. He is. Let's focus on what quarterbacks do. Obviously, he's the fastest guy on the field. Mm -hmm. He, what does a quarterback have to do? Number one, lead. He's a leader. Number two, read defenses. He's very good at that. Number three, requisite arm strength. He has a good strong arm. Number four, accuracy down the field. He does that. And finally, a head coach with the guts to say, that guy can do all these things. I'm not going to try to fit a, a square peg in a round hole. Okay. I'm going to build an offense around him. I understand point. you're both saying that he's the best, but then Stephen A., if he isn't, who do you think is? Who is well, the best quarterback? Well, I think Russell Wilson is still a better quarterback. Legit argument there. I think yeah, Russell Wilson is still I'll a better Lamar, quarterback. I hear you. Um, and, and, and then, you again, you can look at Patrick Mahomes. I think Patrick Mahomes is a better quarterback than him. Again, you're not taking away anything from the greatness. You could talk about that all you want to in terms of the black quarterback, but long before you came on this show, we've lamented the state of affairs with the black quarterback. And oh, by the way, Warren Moon decades ago debunked that yeah, theory. Right. Because what Warren Moon did was take your very critique. He didn't alter. He didn't alter the, the criteria right. for a quarterback. What he did was he took your criteria and threw it in the garbage because as a black quarterback, he went out there and did what those great quarterbacks were doing. So as a, doing no, no, right, no, no, no. What I'm it. saying is you add the dimension that's a bit different. We applaud it. We welcome Marcus, it. Marcus, you get the but last debunking word here. But debunking it, Warren Moon did that. Yeah, I think it's just time for us to embrace the fact that this is sure. being done a different way. Mm -hmm. And then when you think about going forward in the future, there ain't a lot of Lamar Jacksons, mm -hmm. right? We saw this trend in the NFL where people want to hire coaches to develop their quarterbacks. The problem that I've had with the Lamar Jackson criticism – I saw Lamar Jackson at Louisville carve people up. Was he the greatest? Th no, he wasn't. He, didn't he got come a lot out of more college. accurate he in the pros. Yeah. Was he the great? But the ability to do it. These were some of the same perceptions. And when you, it's funny you mentioned black quarterback. Mm -hmm. same, some of these same perceptions was of that right. Prescott we gotta go, as guys. well. Continue we, to get better. Gotta, they have we, the ability. We got to go. go. Just keep in mind that before RG3 nearly had his leg amputated yep. by a Lodi Nada, we were saying the same yep. thing about him because of coming out of Bailey. He could really fling that football, showing out. He was going to be rookie of the year in the nation's capital. Then the leg injury yep. compromised. You've got to pocket right, pass. Right, You've right. got to so be able Max to pocket So Max says pass. Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in the NFL. Stephen A says not yet. He is the MVP, but Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, still in that conversation. Much more to come on First Take. Marcus Spears sticking around here with us. Both LeBron.